Welcome to Smosh Mouth. I'm Shane Top. And I'm Amanda Lee Han Kento. And I'm Chance McCrary. Okay, we wow. normally introduce you, oh, but wow. You, there's no actual rules, so oh. you're allowed to do okay, that. Okay, you guys. Nope, I'm going to mark it on my list. All right. Never we canceled this episode. <laughs> Wait, the whole thing already? <laughs> yeah. Bye. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, this, this has really been fun. great. I'm Mike Kim. Uh, all right. Um, Chance, yeah. thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Mm-hmm. You're so welcome. It was really hard. <laughs> okay, but wait. What are you? You're mean? here, and well, no. there's, we just have to you're stick here, with it. Uh, and and you're you guys are both so energetic. We're filming this extra early because Ian and Anthony have to do a live stream <gasps> at like noon. Yeah. So we have to record this like eight thirty in the morning. <laughs> it's I very early. like it. I'm not gonna Me lie. Me too. See, Chance. I think Chance and I are morning people. Yeah. I am a morning person. I just for some reason today hate morning. <laughs> no, I just hate the morning. Uh, I don't know why right now I'm feeling just uh, like sleepy. I my body feels fine. My eyes are just still. Your eyes are sleepy. Maybe it's allergies. I don't think so. I feel good. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll leave you to your room, honey. Let's go back to our room. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you go See, over there. I walk there. into the mother role. I just can walk into. <laughs> you don't have to. I don't have you to. You make that choice. How do you do. fight it? I feel like if every time to be you... a slutty teenager, I don't know. What do you yeah, but that I turns do? into that, at, at your age, it turns into cougar. <laughs> cougar? What the hell? I'm not 55. I, I didn't say cougars were 55. You said cougar. Now I'm going yeah. to my room. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave this convo. I'm not a cougar. No, you're not a cougar. I'm a panther. What no, no, I'm not. No, what is that? What is that? What is that term you no, just no, made no. up? I'm a cheetah. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if that's good Big either. Big cats. What kind of cat? Wow, again, aging myself. Uh, I'm I'm a uh, tabby. A tabby. Tabby cat? So you just sit around like old hotels and just hang I don't, out? I don't give any of the big cats. <laughs> yeah. Lion? You could but like a tiny lion. little lion? Yeah, a tiny Sweet little lion. Sweet little lion? Yeah. I give lion like Wizard of Oz lion. Okay. Yeah, like Cowardly <laughs> lion. Like, oh! <laughs> I think I give lynx. How do we feel about lynx? Yeah. I feel good about lynx. Lynx. Hell yeah. I guess yeah. I have a big cat. <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> uh, Chance. Yes. Hey. Hey. Hi. You've only been here for a year and two Some months. change, yeah. Yeah. So, Smosh, how do you feel about working here? <laughs> <laughs> and um, why should you continue? And this is your exit interview. Oh, shit. <laughs> and we're um, firing well, it's you. It's been really fun, you guys. Um, <laughs> uh, it's the best thing ever. It is the best thing ever. Good. Um, it's weird having a schedule that's so like one week on and then two weeks off, yeah. three weeks off. Yeah. Like, what the hell do I do mm -hmm. with all that time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Write a pilot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that will go nowhere. <laughs> How many more pilots do I need? You remember that when, I don't know if you guys got that when you first moved to LA. It was like, on your on your time, you must write a script yep. and write a pilot oh, yeah. and write a movie and then, you know, get ready for your book. I need to write a movie. And you're like, I'm 25, what? I just want to survive. Yeah. How am I supposed to pay rent? Yeah. It's, it's, but it's, you write it in the time when you have time to write it because you're not doing anything else. And then when it comes along, you already have it. It's fun. I've still, <laughs> I, I, it, that's been the thing that I probably beat myself up for the most over all these years is I still have never completed a script of any sort. You would write a great pilot, Shane. I, I, in 2020, like in the middle of lockdown, my like goal yeah. was to write one out. I wrote out yeah. an outline. I like had all this stuff prepared. And then the second I, I sat down. Sit down. I look at that blank page. I just completely. It's terrifying. My brain is just. I, I I'm trying to get over, and we did it recently, like a few weeks ago with with Angela when yep. she came on, where we wrote like the dumbest sketches. Um, but my perfectionism just really. I Get was thinking though, this is a crazy idea okay. of like, what if we, a, a joke script that would never go anywhere, but just to complete a script, if we slowly wrote a script on this show. Oh. Like if, if one episode of this show, we kind of like plan out something. Outline it. And then like we write the first act in like uh, another uh, episode, like just slowly All compile. All of Smosh will write one script. Oh, We wow. write Smosh the movie too. Oh God! Three? Ghostmates yeah, two. Yeah, Smosh the movie three. Because who knows? Ian and Anthony might have already cooked up Smosh the movie two. They might have oh, cooked that, it up. That could be true. That could be true. <laughs> um, I feel like I did so much pre-pro on when I before I started writing the script. Like so much. 
outlining and character stuff and before I even start writing, that's the only way I got it out because I, I would also get so trapped in my own head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to like sit down and start writing scenes that you think are funny. Yeah. And then later organizing them together. But yeah. I don't yeah. like doing that on my own. Like I had a writing partner forever and we would just write scenes that we thought was really funny. See, I'm not yeah. like a fan of doing it on my own. Mm. I, I, I do think I'd probably benefit from working with people, like someone to hold me accountable and yeah. also someone to just kind of, I, I hear about like when Anthony and, Anthony talks about writing with Ian. Yeah. And I realize I'm similar to Ian where I'll throw out a lot of things, but I, I kind of doubt myself and I go, mm. oh, it's not funny. Right. Ah, nah. And I, I kind of end up throwing it away before I even try. Yeah. And that sucks. And that's why nothing ever happens. But it's still one of my like ultimate goals. And I've, I said it before on the podcast, I would like to write something in my life. And even if I just put it in the attic and I never oh show God, anyone. Do it. It'll happen. You have an I attic in your apartment? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I will bust through the ceiling. Oh, shit. And what I will I just put it, put it up attic? there. It's just like on top of, of the floorboards. Gourds? Birds? Birds. Birds. It's morning. Mm. But I feel like also uh, it's tough to have that creative energy because this job, this job takes a lot. Yes, you're this right. This job takes a lot, man. This job I, takes a lot. I write down, so yeah, in the notes app, everyone writes down yeah. all their shit yeah. in the notes app. Yeah. And I used to use it like in different places, but now I'm just like, it's constantly feeding into this job. I'm just like, yeah. okay, gotta use that for this, gotta use that for this. And then once I use it here, I'm like, well, I don't wanna kinda use it anywhere else. I know. Well, yeah. yeah. But like this, this job is probably the most creative job I've ever had. Really? 100%. Like, like the most like um exertion of creation. Yeah. Really cool words, Amanda. Um like really, <laughs> wow. really, really cool words, but I feel like growing up or like before this job, it was not that much creation. Not much output of creation. Yeah. I mean, uh, every other job I've worked on before this was just a straightforward acting job. So you're put in such parameters. Yeah. Did that... you ever have a uh, like a blue collar Working, working job. I never, ever worked any job other than acting. <gasps> wow. What? No, because wow. I started acting so young. Like, but you're really nice to service workers, also, because a lot of people, a lot of people who don't work. Uh, yeah. Um. No, the people who go, I've been in the service industry, are actually the worst people. Really? To come to no. a restaurant. Yes. No. Oh, I've been in the service industry. Okay, I totally understand. My brother, my brother, that say that are the people who work there for like. A, a month. Yeah, no. A it's month. Like, it's, yeah, I my, get it. It's like, no, you don't. Because <laughs> no, my, my brother was a waiter for a long time, and he makes sure to tip really well because he remembers. Uh, it probably also depends on what type of service job you worked, too. Like, what restaurant, yeah. maybe? 100%. Because I feel like it's all service jobs are probably. I, I, I openly just admitted I've never worked. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> but, but I imagine uh, all service jobs have very similar types of like pains and. and obstacles but every single one is probably so different from the other. so oh, different so di i've worked service my whole life yeah me too like since i was 13 same hey yeah what was your first job i was a host at my mom's restaurant at my mom's she like was a bartender there oh that's i knew this that's like a sitcom setup that's oh, yeah, cool 100%. as hell i know your mom's a bartender yeah that's badass now she works at the pancake pantry oh, oh my god more where badass. uh nashville Oh my god, that's amazing! Mm -hmm. But she's not bartending, obviously. Do no, they have not, a bar there? No, they close it too. They have a pancake bar. Yeah, she's getting older, so she's like, I'm done staying she's up. Like, to, I'm, I'm, I'm done at 2 p.m. Not a.m. Yeah, I'm I, hanging up the tequila. I'm yeah. pulling out the pancake. The syrup. I, <laughs> I understand that. Yeah, my first job was well, my first job was obviously babysitting. Ugh. Oh yeah. My mom would be like, yeah. "Oh, there's this woman." I'm like, "Okay." And mm -hmm. I'd always babysit and the town over from us was very, very rich. Mm -hmm. So these kids were nightmares. Mm. Oh. One girl, and I hated babysitting. It was just not for me, but you could make bank. But one girl, I'd sit on the couch with her and she wasn't allowed to eat food on the couch. Okay. And I'll never forget this. <laughs> you know this. what she was doing? Eating food on the couch. Yeah. No, she was sitting on the couch and I was like, whatever her name was. I was like, "Emily, you're not allowed to eat food on the couch." And she grabbed two carrots and she <gasps> went Evil. And then she just kept dropping them Evil. on the couch. She'd pick them up Whoa. and drop them She's on the couch. She's testing you. She's testing you. She's saying, you're not in charge of me, actually. No, they were nightmares. Yeah. And they were like, they wanted to like explore their like 
this like witchy vibes. Oh. Like the girl was like six in a room and she was like, la la la. Okay, la, but I like that. <laughs> I like she that. Was, do you think she was possessed? I think by she the was devil. possessed by. <laughs> do you think perhaps? Whatever was going on, she was like, la 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 yeah, la. This kid, was like such a, this kid was such a brat. She would hover above her bed. Her head would spin around. Flames she would everywhere. She came throw down up. the stairs Flames backwards of my face. and upside down. <laughs> yeah. And was like, I'm like, me. stop crawling on the ceiling. Swarms of locusts Be- out of her mouth. Babysitting was, I mean, then my real first job was like, I'd scoop ice cream, a.k.a. I would do everything. Yeah. For this guy oh. named yeah. Montelis. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry. Say it again. Pontali. You. Pontali. He was goo. Yep. He was a big Greek man, man, and he worked at this cafe called Main Street Cafe, and he smoked like a hundred cigarettes a day. And he would sit at the end of the bar, and I would scoop ice cream, aka be like the server and the cleaner. Yeah. And it was in my hometown, and my dad would come in almost every night and get to have a burger, and then drive me home because I was freaking. And 13. Aww. Have you worked in like um like upper scale dining? Yeah, but I was always more like a sling and beers kind of. I worked at Dunkin' uh, Donuts for fi- for 3 years. Holy That's shit. crazy. What did oh, you yeah. do at Dunkin' Donuts? Me and my little sister worked at Dunkin' Donuts for 3 years. That's cute. I did I was sandwich maker, which was my favorite. They have sandwiches at Dunkin' Donuts? Yes. Yeah, Egg sandwiches. Like regular. Yeah, but it's it's all breakfast food, right? It's all back then. It was all breakfast food. Can and I get I the French dip of Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> no, no French. Dip. Yeah, that would make so much sense. The Dunkin' Dip. Oh, actually, that sounds actually, pretty good. No, it was like. Are you listening, Dunkin' was, Donuts? It was sausage, egg, and cheese, and I was. We worked on on like near the highway, so it was very busy. And I worked like the five a.m. shift. Mm-hmm. I was like fourteen or fifteen or something. And I was sandwich maker, so I would just listen in and hear all the different orders and get them, and I would get to be really organized. Oh, so you're also expoing. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't talk to anyone, but then these Boston people would just go over and they're like, "Extra sausage, toasted dak. I'd like a toasted dak." And I'd be like, "Okay, sir, I'm trying to listen to this taking place in Boston." Yeah. Adds a whole other element yeah. to yeah. this. Like, I, I could probably work at Dunkin' Donuts here in California, and I'd be like, that job was hard, but working at Dunkin' Donuts in Boston, in the Hell heart no. of Donutville. In the- <laughs> that also, is- Easton. Like, they were all owned by this one Portuguese family. They owned five Dunkin' Donuts Genius. in my town. Genius. And they only hired Portuguese people. So all of them were from mm. straight up the Azores or Portugal. And then me and my sister were the only like American people who oh. had Portuguese descendant. So it was, everyone was just like, it was like Fatima, Arthur, yes, like all Fatima. these. Did, yes. did your sister get hired on after you or before you? Or what, did you um, guys... After me, she was too young. Okay. Oh. So yeah. you got to be like the cool boss. I was like the cool kid, but none of the khakis ever fit me. <gasps> Cause I was really tall. And you got that fat ass. No, I was <laughs> tall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tall. Oh, okay. My bad. Bitch. I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> I'm going to my room again. I'm going to leave. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Mommy and daddy are talking. Go to your room. <laughs> I did not have a fat ass. Yeah. I was very tall. Oh, no, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. No, but I was so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this was 2002. That's this was true. Bad. You don't want a fat ass. It was like 1997. Um, oh, my I'm God. Kidding. I'm oh. kidding. <laughs> okay. Well... Are you? Am I? Amanda actually is 55 years old. 55. No, it was 2000s. Um, so anyway. <laughs> yeah, that was my first job. Wow. But you know, it was cool. Uh, I, I, I worked gave at so a, many people free shit. I, I was just about to say, I worked at a Chili's in college. <gasps> and Love Chili's. I was a server until I was old enough to bartend when I turned 21. Whoa. And then I was giving out so much free shit. Yeah, like, your porn. friends. Oh, yeah, of course. Was it was like... like Come on to the bar. You want margaritas, uh, Presidente? Oh, absolutely. I love chilies. Me Chocolate too. Chocolate molten lava cake. The honey dude. chipotle chicken crispers. Ch- oh, dude, chilies is my jam. It's yeah. The what shit. working on the inside it didn't disillusion you. Okay, so it disillusioned oh. me to a couple of things. Like, oh. you don't order like steaks because they are in the freezer for as long as I work there. Like, they would be the same steak. Like, they don't don't get changed out, and they don't cook on a grill. They go into a machine that like closes and you press the steak button and it cooks them. No, I, I've uh, ordered steak there. There's, there's a couple things. There's a couple other things you don't order. What? You uh, you do order the chicken things. Anything fried, you can. Yes, anything fried. Okay. Yes. Okay. I've only gotten the chicken crispers. Great. 
My entire life, yeah. I've only ordered the chicken crispy. You're a one order type of person. But the thing is, if you find something that's so friggin' good, yeah. you get the honey chipotle? No, I do the regular. I do the spicy. classic. I just no, they're not too spicy. I just love the classic mm. chicken crispers. At Chili's, I'm a one order guy. If I go to like a nicer, like if I if I go to a restaurant, if I go to like a, a more upscale restaurant, I will pick something crazy. Yeah, yeah. But Chili's, yeah. I've chicken gone to crispers. since I was a Don't kid. Don't get the crazy like, thing. Don't get. The, it's not what about a fajitas. I am not the sizzling. Oh wait, you're asking. If it's okay, yeah, if it's okay. It's just the same thing. We're like th- those. That meat comes in and out so quickly, but like the steaks, like they don't go fast enough, and we get them in too. We got them in too big of quantities. Oh boy! So it would just be sitting there for so long. The fajitas, like we're getting new shipments every week. And molten chocolate cake. Uh, yeah, they're fro- they're frozen, so they're not. But that's fine. There. But yeah, I, but yeah. I can handle that. One hundred percent. I kind of want to see your reaction. Was ew, gross? These steaks. My reaction is. Where do I get one of these machines? Uh, what? So I could just That's... have a bunch of frozen steaks and throw them in, because it is pretty impressive how they yeah. it, it gets cooked. That's true. That's so gross. That's disgusting. Shane. Shane. I mean, look. Shane. I'm a practical guy. No. no. That's gross. Their <laughs> chips also slap. Their chips are so thin and salty. Chips are great. Yeah, and chips their margaritas are, are a little much, but so, cool. Yeah, they're a little sugary, but yeah, they slap. You liked working at Chili's. Uh, no. <laughs> when did, where did you hear that from? I don't know. I was just making. I was just coming it back to it. It was fun in that it was so corporate that you can like. I worked at a lot of restaurants, a lot of Same. restaurants, and there's corporate places and there's corporate places that are so massively corporate that it's easy to go through the cracks. There. Yeah, you can like kind of around. You can kind of around mom because there's mom and pop shops. Mom and pop shops. You can't really f-ck around because. There's there's not a system in place, and they to know help you. you. They start to and like, they, yep. they start to like sibling. They start to like put you in the family, so yeah. you don't want to f- them over or call out. That's oh, true. God. That's true. That's the family steaks, restaurants. The stakes are higher because if things f- up, that and the place stakes goes are out fresh. Of, the stakes are the fresh. Stakes are actually good. Yeah, but also corporate gets really tough because. Then they are kind of shitty, and you're just seen as a body a little yeah, bit. Yeah, hundred percent. You're not but really. It's really seen easy as to person. call out. It's okay. very easy to call out. That's nice. Um, <laughs> How long did you work at Chili's? Uh, like eight months, and then I went to like I went z-, a- z to A. I went to like a really really nice fine dining place where I learned Whoa. everything about cheese, about oh, wine, wow. about food. That's like chef, sick we had hell. like an hour long prep meeting every shift where they would Ooh. come in and talk about cheese, wine, <gasps> and food. Were you saying yes, chef? Yes, we were saying yes, chef. Oh, oh that's definitely. so sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. is so Actor. cool. Actor that's for so life. Funny. I'm only thinking about the, the, the bear. The bear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yes, chef. A hundred percent. Wait, did you like fine dining versus? I liked this one because this one was, it was a small restaurant. It was oh, pretty small. Small is small. Small fine dining. Then I in LA, I've worked in a couple like, uh, I won't say fine dining. I'll say upscale places. They're pretty, mm. they're pretty nice. Yeah. But they were much bigger. And we we're still saying yes, chef. But it was like. Yes, it chef. Kind of, yes. It's like, yes, yeah, chef. It was like it's you, like yes, chef. If I it was have like they're to. like who are you again? Like you're not right. a James Beard chef. Like you're not right. You're not Michelin star. You're just like whereas like was, small local ones. It's like yes, chef. We're a team. Yeah, we all go out drinking yeah. together. We all hang out together. Yeah. We do family meal. I, I definitely watching shows, which is my only experience sure. with that <laughs> stuff. It looks really cool, but I at the same time I'm like I could not handle this shit. It can At be. All. You could though. You like can. you, something ignites in you. The first week is so hard. When oh you're my! In a new place. God. Your feet hurt. You're exhausted. You eat. You ate way too much. You weird don't stuff. know the things that you need to know. And you don't know where all the tables are. Yeah. But after that, you get in a groove. Yeah. And you literally don't think about anything else. You're like, it's a bit of a meditation. Yep. Like 100%. You just, you're just kind of meditating and you're working really, really hard, but your body and your mind get used to it. And then all the people who work in restaurants are so fun and nuts. Yeah. And but also so much fun. They can become like 100%. lifelong friends. Yeah. It's really cool. It's really fun. But the kitchen, don't f with the, the kitchen. The kitchen, you can't f with the kitchen. It's a different type of it's a very type of a 
type of person. Yeah, I mean, I get. They're I feel really like I aggressive. get that. Like every single chef I've ever seen on television seems like the scariest person I've it's ever. It's so they weird because they're type A people that look like type B people. Like they have tattoos. Yes. They have the coolest but they hair are, you've ever. They seen. are perfectionists, and yes. it's, it's a type of art where, like, as, yes. as opposed to a painter gets to paint by themselves yeah. and be like, "I'm fully in control of this." Like they're they're painters who have to work as a team. And it seems like they're as insane as most artists. And they do. Well, they are. It, what artists, it is, you know? it's not even that. It's, I painted this painting, now you have to copy this painting 50 times in a night. And they don't I, care This is about the original. The you have to do what I did exactly like I did yeah. it. They because d- it's my name on it. And they just don't care. And they always make you feel a little bit dumb. They'll be like, yes, do it. you think that that needs butter? And you're like, yes, chef. Yeah, right. That's uh, And that's also been in... The bear, yeah. Like they, the way. I, the look, bear, that's the my only accurate, knowledge. That's the bear's my only good. knowledge. But he, he, to me, he's cool. He does seem. Whereas, cool. like, there's some chefs who's like, you're like, I don't know who you are. Yeah, interesting. Uh, so cheese knowledge. Yeah. What's <laughs> what kind of cheese knowledge do you think you have that most people don't? Like, what is there something that you could tell, like a cool cheese fact? Yeah, give us or, a or cheese fact. Or, cool. or just more that you just can look at cheese and be like, I know what that is and I know what it pairs with. Yeah, 100% that, definitely that. Um, I I used to know a lot more just about like a lot of things about the rind. A lot of people think like a lot of rinds, you can't, people are like, you can't eat it. Well, most of the time you actually you can actually eat the rind. You can. Okay. And it's delicious. Good to know. Um, more so just like flavors and pairings. Mm. Got it. So like a sweet soft cheese. cheese is- like on, on a charcuterie board, I'm like, there's going to be a soft cheese. There's yeah. going to be a hard, hard cheese. And there's probably going to be an smelly ex- cheese. a smelly cheese, an X cheese, I call it. Like something okay. that's out there. Okay. What kind of wine usually goes with the, like. Well, it depends on the cheese. So what about uh, like a goat? Goat cheese. You know? But there's soft tons, tons of types of goat cheese. There's a ton of different types. Right. If, if it's a goat cheese, let's say it's a blueberry goat cheese. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Blueberry goat cheese. So blueberry, it's already going to be sweeter. The goat is going to make, going to be one a drier thing. Maybe a Gruner Veltliner. What it's the? Oh, Austrian grape. Austrian. It's super. Delicious. It's delicious. It's super effervescent. And then I think it's so dry with the blueberries. It kind of will like do a champagne type of thing, but it's not bubbly. Yum. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds so cool. Yum. Yeah. Did you ever have a job that you wish that you did after like watching a show where you're like, mm, oh, that's good. I want to work there. I the problem is it's I I recognize it immediately as being like a fantasized version of that job. Like when you're watching on TV, you're seeing like the coolest parts of a job. Okay, but even even just even if it is a fantasy, I think I definitely um I, like. <sighs> More for the dynamics that you're talking about, like working in a restaurant sometimes sounds cool, but it's gotta be the right type of restaurant. Yeah. And it's it's gotta it's it's the idea that I'd be working there with a bunch of cool personalities. Yes, a hundred percent. And I and I don't you don't you're not gonna get that every time. You might work at a place and everyone on an sucks. island on an island, it might be cool. Hmm? What? Like when I when I <laughs> Yeah, what? Like when Well, I if you're in space on an island, it's cool because you're all there together and you're all there to work. Shut up. I don't know what you're I don't saying. Listen, mean. a restaurant on an island would be really cool. Oh, like like I did that for I did I worked on Martha's Vineyard for eight months, and all of us were working together on the island because there's no one up because there's yeah you can't leave the island. Oh, got you're just it. Working and it's kind of like out. the boat show, the boat show where they're all working on the boat. Oh yeah, but I would not want to work. No, no, apps. No. I got I off. Got no way. No, I had I got kind of um, approached about. This is like right after Disney. I got approached about like, would you want to do stand up on a on a on a um, no cruise? Cruise. And oh, I, hell I no. luckily I, I hell no zero stand up experience. Zero experience now. Zero experience then. And I was like, um, I don't no. think it's my bag. No, I know but people that did that. I, I they also... live like on the bottom of the boat. <laughs> no, and they get fed like shit, absolute yeah. shit. Like I, I know a ton of people who do it, and they just you can't get off no. the boat. Yeah, no. it sounds awful. That's and the people not... on the cruises. Oh, dude. Well, that's just the like the clientele. The the best clientele of people that I've worked in the service industry were are here in L.A. Honestly, or on an island, or on an island. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> because in, islands I, just make people good. They're just they're having fun. They're on vacation. Uh, it depends on the island. Actually, no. Now I'm like backtracking. 
Maybe people on vacation aren't that fun. No. No, they're, no you're people right. People on vacation. I don't Have know you what, seen White Lotus? Yes. What is it about people on vacation turning into nightmares? Because, because they're like, I, they're I work I my ass off, I deserve and I have one game. week a year. Yeah, yeah. I deserve this. Um, going back really quick, we were just, I was just asking Chance about cheese knowledge. Do you have donut knowledge? <laughs> From Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. If you heat up a chocolate stick, it's fucking delicious. <laughs> oh. A chocolate stick? Mm, honey. It's honey? No. <laughs> it turns into honey. It's not It's not the coolest looking thing, okay? It's a big, long, black <laughs> donut. Amanda. I'm sorry. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a chocolate stick. You know, a glazed stick is like a big, thick, long thing. Okay, imagine that being black. Amanda knows a lot about donuts. Listen, bitch, you asked me. <laughs> okay, quick recap. Okay. Oh, no. So so you, uh, Amanda, Yeah. you went from babysitting to working at an ice cream shop for, for, uh. Pontelis. Pontelis. Uh, to Dunkin' Donuts. To Dunkin' Donuts. To then a fresh catch, like fancy dining restaurant. So right then you went the to street. fine dining. So you know about food. You know about seafood. I, of course, I'm from oh, Massachusetts. Boston. I know so much about seafood. Steamers. And then they're my favorite food. Really? You know, steamers are my favorite Ew, food. Ew, steamers. That's little Gross. necks. They're little neck clams. You have to really take off the skin and then dip it in hot water and then butter. And then let's be clear, you dip it in the hot water because they're nasty as fuck. They are. Like they're briny in sand. And, and their own shit. Little necks. Steamers. I've never heard of this. And yeah. then, and then I worked at another restaurant called Jake and Joe's, which was like where all the Patriots, Patriots players, because oh, we were right shit. near Foxborough, That's fun. would go in. You saw Tom Brady all the time? Mm, not him. No, not he, him. He eats only like not beets. Not him. <laughs> and then I worked at Channel 7. And then I worked for the DA's office. That's right, Channel Holy 7. Shit. What did you do at the DA's office? Uh, the worst job on the planet. I wanted to die. I, my mom like knew the knew someone of the DA, so it was in town, and I just sat at the front desk behind glass, making sure a bunch of people with pictures didn't get in. Wow! To you the were DA like security. Office. I was a bit of security, but I just sat there only dreaming about my lunch break. That sounds actually not that bad. And then I would check people in with their badges, but I was just sit. Yeah. Forever. Yeah, did pretty... you have a computer? I had a computer, but it was mon it was uh, monitored. Oh, I couldn't yeah. like go on Facebook. Or, Facebook. Yeah, I would read though, like read. Really yeah, read. did I read? I don't know. I don't know what. Can I you read? read? So you sat at. A I'm not sure if I can read. <laughs> so you sat at a desk at the front of the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. And then worked at a restaurant, and, and then you went back to the. Restaurant. I always worked at a restaurant forever. Yeah. So I worked two jobs usually yeah. all the time. A restaurant oh. was consistent. Were you working at a restaurant while you were working at NBC? Um. No, actually, because I didn't have any time. Full time reporter. Yeah. Trying to get I was full time scoop. writer. I couldn't be a reporter there. You know, you have to like go. You try. To Wyoming. You, you talked about this. Yeah. You try. But you, you did you ever? You filmed some things. I filmed the real. Do we? Ha can we get that footage at some point? Hell yeah! It's Hell on my yeah. YouTube. <gasps> what? Yeah. I'll find it. I'll, I'll give it to you. It's horrific. In the past month, Massachusetts has created more than fifteen thousand jobs and has the lowest number of unemployment claims in the country. The victims inside this house say the two suspects came in, tied them up, held them at gunpoint, and then used their walkie-talkies to signal the getaway car. That worker fell halfway down a 20-foot shaft while working on this tunnel over here. His foot was pinned between a pipe and the ladder that he fell off of. Well, it turns out they can't even fight that ticket today due to a mix-up of paperwork, so they have to be back in court. And we spoke to state police, and they are defending that ticket. Outside the courthouse, I'm Amanda Lehan. I do a lot of hand movements. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, I showed up wearing a white dress, and they were like, yeah, that's the only thing you actually can't wear. And I was like, oh, no. I was so stressed out all Why the time. can't you wear a white dress? It looks bad on camera, I guess. I would say the uh, mm. <laughs> a job that intimidates me more than um, chefs is is like news people that it's, shit sound they they chefs seem intense anyone in the news industry to journalism. me feels like a, a psychopath I'm like, just, you're you're crazy the way you view the world is different a chef is focused on like a thing beautiful food they're focused on the, the upsets of the world yeah i even got sad every day like reading 
reading the news every day because we got copy from like the bigger news stations was so upsetting. Oh. Yeah, but there's something in it about trying to tweak, right? They're trying to tweak. They're trying to yeah, fix. like bear in yard mauled a two year old. And it's how fun is that? Like, yeah. <laughs> um, oh my god! But you point it out so that it doesn't happen again, and so that people are Correct. aware. Correct. Just don't. Yeah. So. NBC was so tough that you were like, I'm going to go work for the district attorney. And no, I worked for the district attorney before that. Oh. And then I worked at NBC and it was so intense that I quit. And, and I went, went to Peru and then I went to Martha's Vineyard and worked as a bartender and then I moved here. You went to Peru real quick? For a month. Oh, wow. And you just you just escaped. I needed to find myself. Wow. That's Did you find yourself? Me and my best friend. Eat, I pray, found love. out that I was like really sad and oh. needed to leave. Oh. And I found out that I, I wanted to finally pursue acting, which I've wanted to do since I was a little Whoa. girl. Oh, holy shit. So you went through all that. So you and did. Like, yeah. And then you came out to LA and worked at a restaurant again. No, I came out. To, yes, I, I moved. With Kimmy. I moved to Martha's Vineyard. And then when I, like my second week in LA, I walked into this restaurant, knew someone. And then I worked with Kimmy at Mohawk Bend. For like ever. 75 beers on tap. For eight years. Oh my God. While 75 beers acting. on tap? Yeah. Why have I never gone? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that sounds incredible. For eight that's years worked, while I was. You worked acting with Kimmy. Stuff. That's so funny that you worked with Kimmy longer at Mohawk Bend than you still have here. I know. By a lot. It's, it's by a lot. Uh, by a lot. Like it was insane. Double the amount of time. That's so funny. That in total, though, you've worked with Kimmy. You've worked with Kimmy more for years in total time. than I've worked probably, with anyone here at Smosh. I probably worked wow. with Kimmy for like 10 years. That's insane. That's insane. That's I've been in so LA 11. Funny. Wow. Wow. Uh, so then you got it. So you're working there and acting. And, and then, then acting. I was I was acting, um, doing commercials and had like an agent and then performing at Groundlings. Right. And then which you made, was, made it all the way you know, to Sunday dollars. Yeah, made it which to Sunday Which is insane. Company. Which they don't While pay, I was still bartending. They don't pay you? No. No. That blows my mind. Yeah. We are past the point of not paying Agreed. our performers. For, Agreed. For anyone, what? For anyone listening who doesn't know, like, there's a couple comedy theater, like physical theaters, like places in LA, where th they're like the only places you can go if you want to kind of be established as a comedic comedian. actor or like yeah. comedian. Uh, and frankly, they're known as like the only places you go to get on SNL someday. Yeah. yeah. You if you don't do that, you might win the lottery and end up on SNL if you get seen, but yeah. going to Groundlings is one, but it's so hard. It takes so long. It, it's, it was presented as being so difficult that I did a couple levels there and was like, I'm done. And it costs it's, you money. Oh, it's so expensive. It's, it's like $500 expensive. per thing. And it's like six things that you have to go through that I could take extra three years to pay. Yep. I worked so much. And then when I was in Sunday company, I worked a ton and wrote a ton. I don't think I slept for like two years. That's what it always sounds like. I don't like. think I slept for like eight years. Because I've had multiple friends who were in Sunday Company, and it just sounds awful. Well, you can't you can't be in Sunday Company and not work, unless you have like a bunch of money. But like all of us were working. It's crazy. All of us. And then if you booked a commercial, it was great, but then it was like, yeah. then you have to take away time from Sunday, and they did not accept that. Like you can't miss shit. Yeah, it and just doesn't you, make then sense. Then you started working at Smosh, and then I, and then, and then COVID hit, and I got out of the restaurant business completely. Same. Wow. I've been out of the restaurant business for three years or four oh. years, and that's the first time in my literal life that I wow. haven't worked at a restaurant. Yeah. And so, Chance, you, Chance. I, I did babysit before I. Okay, so you were baby babysitting was number one. Children. Yeah, and then it was uh, restaurant with mom. Okay, then. Chili. Chili's, then nice restaurant. Then in, I worked at Second City teaching kids oh. improv uh -huh, in oh, Chicago. So cool. And then I came to LA and I was like, when I started working at Second City, I was like, I'm done. I worked there for like a year and comedy sports, lol. Wow. Um, but comedy sports in Chicago was very fun because they like toured different places. Yeah, yeah. And they had a residency at this huge theater and it'd be packed with all these kids and they'd be like, yeah, comedy sports. <laughs> Um, you felt so like there's like yeah. like a thousand kids when you're doing it and you're just like awesome. fuck yeah and they're so lit for it. Um, but I thought I was gonna be out of the restaurant business, but then I came to LA and was back in the restaurant. Of course, of course, you have to. Yeah. Um, but it was I feel like it was easier here because everyone was like nicer. They weren't like for some reason the Midwest people and the so South people were so mean when they went to restaurants. They just don't know how to treat people. A lot That's of so time. that so goes so counter to me. yeah what you yeah. think yeah. 
I think that East Coast people are nicer than LA people, personally. I think that's true as well. Like at restaurants. But at, in LA, they're just like, is the, the service is just kind of like. They're floating. They, they're floating, and you just kind of don't really. Like the ser- most servers are just like, hey, what's up? What do you want? Yeah. Cool. Right. Great. I'll get it for you. Yeah. You're gone, and you're gone. You like you. That's so true. It takes nothing out of you. Wait. But in the Midwest, a lot of times, hey, how are you guys? Yeah. Oh my God, it is so good to see you. Yeah. And it's just exhausting to do that all night. Yes. Every time. How's your family? Lots yeah. of regulars. Right. Ooh, that's. But that's in LA, true. it's kind of like. It's kind of like bye. See you never. I, I guess. Know. Yeah. See I don't feel like in. I feel like in LA, you're never really a regular at a restaurant. It's, There's. It's that I had sometimes some, yeah. East Side. Okay. I feel like the east side, you're pretty regular. Okay. But but also, yeah, we had a ton of regulars at Mohawk Bend. A ton. What was, for both of you, what out of all those jobs was, the, like, you're like, that's the worst job? That one was the hardest. Oh, my God, I worked at Google for four months. I forgot. You worked at, <laughs> you just left that out. Yeah, because it was awful, and I you was not at, equipped. What did you do was, at Google? Is that the worst one? I was one? working, that was the worst one. That's why uh, I triggered for it. four months, I was an engineer at Google. No, uh, kind of. So I was what? in charge Google Maps. How did this it. happen? Yes, good. It was a Northwestern Connect. Yes. It was a Northwestern Connect, and he had started working. He was like four years above me, and he knew me from a friend. That referred me, and then we met, and he was like, I have a position for Google Maps team. Like, it's, uh, uh, they're, the main goal of what they were doing was doing uh, altitude to Google Maps. Oh, So you know how now oh. you can go, like. Right, you can zoom you can out. Look, and you can look at a mall and oh. see what floor. So you were a coder. Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh, bitch, I was, no, I was really <laughs> bad, which is why I only worked there for four months. You're like. Coding Google Maps. I was. Like, had you been coding before? No. And so I had to have so many training sessions, and he tried to even help me. <laughs> and he was like, So, how much do you know about coding? And I was like, Sweet life of Zach and coding. And he was like, <laughs> and Look, 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 look at his face. Look at his face. You are not a what? coder. There's probably nothing. No comedy. No. In Google oh my God. And even like, so I had a team. I had a team, you guys. <laughs> you ran I a team. I had a team. And so th- their team, the people, I would have to organize. Heidi was just like, huh. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> when I have to get logistical, I can be logistical. But if I don't yeah. have to be, but if I don't have to be, then I'm not going to be. If someone's going to do it for me, then I'm going to let someone do it what for me. The f- I had a team, and they, uh, I had to organize flights. I had to organize uh, places they would go. So we started with malls, and I would have to get like six people on a flight to a place to a mall, and they would have, they would each have a different type of phone, and they would go into a store, and I'd be like, okay, we're doing the Hollister first. So it'd be like, it's on, Hollister's on the second floor, blah, 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 217 is the grid where we would grid it. They would have to go in for 30 minutes, just the GPS would have to track that they're up, where their altitude is and where their latitude and longitude is, go in 30 minutes, come out. Go in for 30 minutes, come out. Go in for 30 minutes, come out. Then they would have to bring the physical phone to me, and I would have to plug each one in and download the data from the phone and put it into this huge system. Whoa. Crazy. What the f- Crazy. So there were like, where were you? Uh, so I worked in Chicago, and then they flew me out to Mountain View for like a month. <sighs> Whoa. What? Yeah. With one of those phones, what kind of wine pairing would you recommend? <laughs> <laughs> well, with a soft Probably a petite cheese. Syrah. A what a, what, what, this is why I, I think I am really, I am envious and insecure about not working any other kind of jobs from acting because there's just so much knowledge that I feel like you mm. garner. Yeah, you get a lot of tools a light, in light, your light, tool you belt. Do, you do, like you get street smart, you get a lot of tools, you yeah. meet a lot of different a, people. Oh my God, they were uh, they were all, none of them could talk to people, which oh, is why, awkward. which is why I was in the position that I was in because I could organize and talk to people and be like, "You need to be here at this time. Uh, Give me these I've, things, and I will do it for you." I've heard that, and it's it's unfair for a lot of people, but I have heard that if you're if you have good interpersonal skills, you are going to probably do well in almost any field. Yeah, like you 100%. had no coding experience, but you had a team yeah. of coders. Yeah. Well, Shane, if you want to, you know, take a break from acting and go. 
Cold. Work in a restaurant. Go work oh. at Krispy Kreme. Honestly, work there for a month and you'd be like, all right, I've gotten all the knowledge I needed. Yeah. I'm a out. month is all you need. A yeah. month is all you need to go. What I'd have happens? to I'd have to go in disguise and like lay low. Cause I don't want to go Undercover and be like boss? I don't wanna I'd feel I, all the other workers would hate me if I was like, I'm just here as an experiment. <laughs> I'm actually an actor and they, I, <laughs> I work on a YouTube channel. They would. They'd be like, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Um okay. All right, so you worked at Google, uh, and that was the worst one. That was by far the worst one. I was working like 13-hour days because I was so behind on my – I was so behind. It was nice because they had like a gym there. Yeah, the the cafeteria was phenomenal. The food was so good, and they had crafty there always. But you basically lived there. Basically lived there. Wow. And then they would even win it – so I was also still doing – so I was in Chicago when I – I had started at Second City and I was I had enough time that I could do it um, when they were like off classes. So like classes were mostly in the summer and in the spring. In the fall, there was a lot of time, which is when I worked at Google. And I was doing comedy sports and even backstage, like at night, I would try, be trying to do a show and they would be like texting me. I'd be getting emails, Whoa. still responding backstage, like trying to do shit. What? Awful. That is insane. Terrible. Holy crap. That sounds like a terrible job. Um. But and the then it was nice. <laughs> yeah. I bet. Well, now we're all actors. And now we're all actors. Now we're all in your position. And I've been, yeah, I just, I just grinding. Just started acting. That's all I've done. But in order to be an actor, there's a lot of stuff that you have to do. There is a lot of like, stuff. You, yeah. You have to get headshots. Headshots. Uh, so, oh, that's good. So something we wanted to do today, uh, I asked you guys for a bunch of your old headshots, <laughs> and um, we're gonna go through and we're gonna kind of just challenging. Should We're gonna kind of yeah yeah yeah. So um, That's I crazy. Uh, first up we have some of mine. Uh, I had to find these on the internet, so some of them are pretty small in quality because uh, I could <gasps> not find the printed out versions. You look like um, let's go with that one. Let's go with that one first. So this one's early on. I'm a teenager here. Uh, I, I have to be at least I have to be like 15 or 16. You look like Devin Saya. Saya. You look like the guy from um, Cinderella Story. <gasps> oh oh, he was in One Tree Hill. What's his name? What's his name? Matthew James. Ma- Absolutely not. That Zach, is not his name. Ethan. No. Uh, the guy from One Tree Hill. What's his name? I was gonna say the the Greek guy from the ice cream parlor. Uh, Pontelis. I will never Pontelis be able to memorize that name. <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to repeat it to Pontelis. me. Pontelis. John, James John. Pontelis. What? Chad Michael Murray. Chad Michael Murray. I was close with Ethan. Pontelis. Zach. Girl, it's two whiteboard names combined <laughs> together. So, anyways, um, yeah, this this just had a hot, very serious. That is hot. Um, and this then this one's a little bit later. Uh, Your this, eyes look so green. This, yeah, I don't know. Um, they with every single one, with every single one, they would do a lot of work on them. Like you get the headshots done, and they'd be like, "All right, now we're yeah, gonna touch them really up." Look like you. Also, your okay. hair is too dark. My, I, I died. I started dyeing my hair when I was. 17 or 18. You know, how old is this one? I had to have been probably around 20. This is what I'd cast you in. Mitchell Musso. Like a boy. That's just, that was the style at that time, man. A bad, a bad teen, like in like a thriller, like a a detective thing, like in Seattle, like a teen who's like there and the cops go up to you and ask for questions. Like questions about something. I don't know. It's yeah, just, it I was don't know. It's my dad's pool. Like, yeah, exactly. Look, I don't do rich. that many drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, exactly. So I did that. I think I was always trying to be, I wanted to go for serious. I was. I came out here really with the determination to be a dramatic actor, and I just kept booking comedy you were killing shit. It. Uh, this Ooh! is not a headshot. Okay, here's your comedy. This isn't headshot. a this isn't even a headshot. This is a photo a friend of mine took of me uh, back in Arizona, but I threw it in there because this is Shame. a little bit more of what I actually looked like. That does not even look like you. That That's what like I looked him. like back then. No, you that look looks like, like him. You look like a dweeb, and I, I love was? it. I was. Wow. And then there's there's a headshot. That's crazy. Okay. That's insane. That's that's Chad Michael Murray. That's Chad Michael he's, Murray. He's yeah. Devin Sawyer. And I, I want to point out, I guess just for the headshot, for this, but also in the previous photo, that I was a long sleeve shirt under short sleeve shirt guy. Yep, pretty hardcore. Yes, you were. Uh, which That's you know come back, back a little bit. It is coming back. Damien was wearing a long sleeve shirt under a short sleeve shirt the other day, and uh, you know it's coming back. It's coming back. It's I don't know. Back. I'm just saying it's coming back. If Damien's do it, then it's coming back. Oh, there you look gay. <laughs> That's the gayest headshot I've ever seen. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Queer folk. I'm coming to. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to start at NYU. <laughs> Here's my 16 bar cut. So, oh my god. Truth be told, because I. Folk. Truth be told, Tw- I. 2012. I, when was this taken? Uh, this was taken before that. This was taken probably 2006. No, this was taken maybe 2007 or eight. You're um, so cute, or though. Or uh, so the the person who took the photos styled my hair. <laughs> Yeah, they did. <laughs> and yeah, my hair never Where looked like that. Where are you? Like, I don't yeah, it's know. In the studio, in some studio, I took one of the, uh, these glamour shots. Yeah, it, it really gets. Uh, I need to get new new headshots done, and I'm gonna make them look like I'm in a real are you place. Still using that headshot? No. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, uh, that one's there's, nice. There's okay. a there's a this is even older. I probably am like 14. You're like in She's the Man. You're one of the best friends. That's in good. She's the Man, right? That's good. Like a soccer movie where, or you're the love interest on an island. Enough about no, the island. Guys, stop. That was just We're done with the fun. island. Yeah, they, soccer movie. Definitely yeah, soccer looking movie. back, though, I'm like, these are so insane, and they are just feel, but I guess headshots don't this ever look. This isn't bad, though. This that's a very bad. normal one. I had others that I could <gasps> find. So oh. this, is, uh, this, is a, this is a screenshot from. What's happening? <laughs> this is a photo from the worst job I have ever worked on. What is it? This was on a PSA that I worked on when I was 18 and it's it's I found it online recently and you can go watch it. Uh it's, We should have an episode where we watch those things. Yeah, I we can I am figuring out the copyright stuff with watching because right. it is a government funded PSA. Okay, what is right. it about? It's called The Power of No. And say, oh, say no to you're, drugs. You're say a... no to things. Yes, yeah, say no. But to sex. Uh, it was a ridiculous job, and I knew as I was working on it, I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever worked on. This this guy who is like, you'd swear he's like a Simpsons character. Like you know immediately, like this guy, I don't trust him. He's the one running and, and and directing it. He um, in the first day of filming. So basically, the premise, the whole idea of it is, I'm at a round table with a bunch of these like. 12 year olds and I'm I'm like a 16 year old so it's not an adult telling these kids You're like, Come what on, to do guys, I'm there and no. he, they, it was really amped up like you need, just be a cool kid you're cool oh. and I'm like I'm not cool I'll try to luckily I think what what did worked in my favor it's cringy as hell and my acting is cringy as hell because there's no way to deliver it good of course yeah. but um but you're cool but first day I show up and I'm like okay it's a PSA how, this'll be fine, whatever. But the first day is when I knew that this was gonna be a nightmare because mm-hmm. the director, the like producer director comes up to me and he's like this older guy. Like I said, mm-hmm. best word I can use is like, you just get the sleazy vibe yeah, off of him. Of like, God. oh, he's trying to find ways to make money and he doesn't care what avenue he's gonna do it. And he's like, he's like, all right, so you're playing Corey. And yeah, so Corey, Corey. Yeah. so Corey, and he's like, I think that's his name. It's got to be Corey. And he's like, and uh, here's the thing. So I want you just something for you to think about. You is, get laid off. <laughs> 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 uh, he's like, he's like, Corey has a secret. Ew. Whatever, whatever. Like, but but Corey has oh a God. secret. Oh. And I, and I remember looking at him and be like, you got it, man. And in my head, I was like, no, he. No, he doesn't. No, there's <laughs> I was like, a secret. No, uh, there's no secret. Corey is telling. Like, Corey's just a. Corey. Corey's just Corey's a guy. Corey. Oh, God. Uh, so I did not think about that. But he did at one point tell me, this guy, he's like, man, when this comes out, the girls are going to be all over you. There is, you're oh going to go God. pop. And I remember, luckily, <laughs> luckily, luckily, luckily at the time I knew, I was like, I don't believe a single In word. In fact, this will hurt this my answer. chances with Yeah, yes. no, I am no, never it getting will be laid a again. You're never getting laid. Like, yeah, that's my boyfriend. And you're just like, hey, guys, I've got a little secret. My yeah. name is Corey. And everyone's like, Ugh, oh, no. he's got a secret. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I know. At that time, I was like, I'm going to be a virgin forever. Oh, no. Uh, it was pretty rough. On the last day of filming, he was, this, is a, this was a PSA about, you know, saying no to drugs and stuff. On the last day of set, he was drinking a beer on set. Hell yeah. In front of these kids and shit. Uh, I was like, this is f***ing nuts. There is a scene, however, and I've okay. talked about this before. So this guy was always talking about all the celebrities he was going to get in this in this PSA. Sure. He's like, we're in talks with Robert Downey Jr. Okay. okay. Sean Penn. Uh, oh, what? All, all these... Oscar winning actors. He was like, we're going to get them. We're going to get Sean them. Sean Penn did I Am Sam and then he came over to the Yeah, he's going to go do Power of No. But uh but 
there is a scene with Larry King. Wow! <laughs> in this, where a kid <laughs> is out front of his uh, out front of his house, and we we'll show the clip at some point. He's out front of his house, and then Larry King is in a van with the the door open. He's like, "Hey, kid, I got some stuff in my, my car. I need help with." Uh, or he says something like, "I got." puppies or candy it's it, like the most stereotypical scene and this kid's like awesome and he gets in and he starts opening up this box and then the door shuts behind him and the kid's like what's what's going on like hey can you open up and larry king is just there's just a shot of larry king's the back of his head looking at the front windshield and he's just not not responding just larry king looking menacing why would it la- and it's like what the f-? and the kid's like hey let me out and larry king's just not responding suddenly the door's open there's a news reporter and and Tons of of people and all this stuff, and they're reporting on how dangerous it is to get into people's cars and how this kid messed up. Why didn't I, I get that news? And the kid, job. the kid's freaking out. The kid's right. reaction is awesome. The kids, they're just like, what? <laughs> the kid's acting is the best acting in the scene. Why would Larry King agree to that role? I don't know how they got Larry King. Maybe he needed a paycheck. Um, Definitely needed a paycheck. <laughs> but uh, wow, that is it's it's unbelievable that it's it's real and it was the worst job I ever worked on. I I was it was agonizing because I recognized that it was all bullcrap. And then the guy, the director was like, "Yeah, next I'm thinking about getting into politics." And I'm like, "That makes so Never. much sense. Never. That makes so much sense." It's like, I Sean don't. Penn is backing me. I don't remember the guy's <laughs> name. I don't remember much about him other than just I was trying to block him out of my memory. But anyways, that's. That photo. Holy God! It was the most ridiculous Shane. job. And then a year later, oh, I worked occurs. on. A year later, I booked so random. So, Hell but that yeah. was a low because I, you know, I I came out to L.A. That is low. How I old booked, were you? I was 18. I was I was like freshly eighteen. So, uh, I had booked like iCarly, and I think that was like maybe some commercials, and then and otherwise I was like shoot like I, as a child actor, the most toxic thing is thinking like, and this is what they all child actors are saying when they're you're under 18 it's like yeah our goal is to make it before we're 18 <gasps> and so it makes this devastating mindset of once you turn 18 and you're like starting your life you already have this idea that you failed jesus it's so intense okay. and it's why child actors are messed up i'll take the restaurant time anytime yeah with that i mean that mindset. was also what i was doing to myself no but that but it's what child thing. actors are doing yeah. to each other that's so stressful. That's... That takes away like so much fun and growth and uncertainty. You're already insecure at that age. Oh, dude, Why do I you was need to be, like, so life has failed. not even started yet, girly. Oh, I, I'm I, I'm I'm so stupid. I had booked uh, and I'd worked on Dear Lemon Lima that movie. So that and that was like one of my favorite jobs I'd ever worked we on. Watch that it was an indie it. film. It's a great movie. It's actually a really good movie. Is it a comedy? It's a comedy. It's around the Juno. Uh, it's it's kind of the Juno era of movies. So it has uh, that indie, yeah. kind of cutesy feeling Fun. to it. And I play the the essentially the villain of the movie. Okay. I Fun. play like a super douchey, uh, arrogant prep school kid. Okay, I love that. Uh, and like the love interest, but the love so interest like is really shitty to the main character. Oh wow. Yeah. No. Icarly, I Carly, I I got typecast so quickly and so intensely. I I was on iCarly as Philip Brownlee, and then I booked Dear Lemon Lima, where I played a character named Philip Georgie, mm-hmm. and is I was Phillip like, well, like a shit name. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Philip is so. always douchey. Corey's the sweet guy. Corey's Phillip sweet. Is, Corey's sweet. I thought Drew, like Drew and like Devin, were kind of shitty. Oh, oh no, really? Devin, they're like cool shitty though. All right, let's Hi. move on to Chance. That's that's really, a recent. That's one. really cool. So thing. this is recent. This is great. This is commercials. Look at yeah. you. I, I can recognize immediately someone's commercial headshot versus yeah. theatrical. You're it's a, a great. That's a great boy. one. Mm-hmm. That's dude. T-Mobile, right, right there. <laughs> right there. Boom. Buy this phone, bitch. Yeah, or Verizon. The earrings are fun too. Yeah, the earrings are really fun, and the shirt's really great. The shirt's textured, so it's fun. I cut the sleeves off that shirt now. Okay. Oh, so you're never gonna be able to wear to an audition? Do you guys remember thinking that your oh, headshot you're so you had to wear right. the same shirt in no. your headshot? I actively don't wear the same shirt because I'm like, you already saw that look. No. Now let me show you what else. Wait, I who do. told you? I that? think a yeah. workshop told me. They're like, think, I think so. So, uh, so for five years, I had my headshot shirt on a hanger, in the and it was just destroyed, smelly, like disgusting. Why am I not sun? booking anything? It's like Buffalo you smell like sauce. shit. <laughs> I put on. I'm like, okay, booking shirt. They're like. You smell that? No perfumes. We said no perfumes in the room. Oh yeah, no perfumes. This one's funny. Okay. I like this one. I like how you look a little concerned. Step up. A little, 
step up five? Like, are you like one of the cool <laughs> dancers? What? Because of the hoodie? No, because of your face, the hair, the hoodie. The face is giving, do I do that? <laughs> is this like, is this kind of comedy? This headshot? was a comedy headshot okay. that my friend actually took. Oh, it's really good. It's in his parking garage. It's, it's a really good really headshot. Good. Look at the, but look at the, let's talk about the hair. The hair is high. I think the it's issue is high. It's I've never seen you wear your hair like that. <laughs> and I hope no one ever sees you. Honestly, me it's it's Elvis after getting electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> you do I'm like, look Ooh. step you do look step uppy. Also, you look kind of light in this. I do look light. I do think he lightened me a little bit. It's it's vampire chains. Um it is something that I did talk about him with because my friend Nabil also got his headshots from him and I was like Nabil, I'm on a team with Nabil. On a comedy team. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's like, Nabil, you look white. Like, Nabil's very Indian. Yeah, Nabil's like, Nabil, very he, like, Indian. He, like, bleached you out, no. dude. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, you're, 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 like, I think, no. You right. need to darken yeah. this one. Yeah. It's your real skin That's, color. I'm not using that one. Well, you, well, when you do, you need to darken yeah. it. For step up five, darken your skin. Yeah. Okay, this <gasps> one. That's great. Okay. Well, you, you look so... It, your your vibe here is not. That's not me. You. This is so right. opposite of who you are. This yeah. this is. This is when you worked at your mom's bar. Yeah. What? <laughs> I would say no. I would say this is yeah. chance. If you if you didn't become an actor and you said went and worked in insurance, that it feels very insurance. It's it feels very, very corporate. It feels like smiling. Like there should be a salad. Right also in front of church. Me. Like very church. Oh, yeah. conservative like, chance. Come in Big the church. church. You just pay thousands of yeah. dollars a month and yeah. get closer to God. Yeah, you're right. Um, and then also, you sent a bunch of just regular photos of you as a kid, and that shocked me. Why? Uh, oh, okay, you, you included Oh, shoot. Oh, this is the same That's guy great. three years before. This is great. And uh, I, Yeah, I like what my hair's doing, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, you it's look, high, you but it's really like, handsome. Ooh. It's like, yeah. ooh. These are so you good. look very straight, though, in this picture. I had just come out of the closet, like, Maybe a couple months before. Yeah, you look. You look like you're in. Um, like you're one of the baseball, uh, friends. Friend guys. I don't know. I just came from the East Coast. <laughs> but you know what I mean. You yeah. look like a Freddie Prince Jr. Like baseball movie or something. Gotta, like, Summer catch. It's not bad. I think these are good headshots. Not I think bad. You're outside headshot. of a school. Pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to. But enroll. now we have childhood photos. Oh no. And dude. Oh honey. This I, is high school. This is high school? This is high school. How old are you here? Uh, I'm I thought you were 10. I'm 14. <laughs> That's why I'm like looking at your photos and you're like, uh, yeah, I'm 15. I was like, I, I, think I, I thought you were eight. I, no, I thought you were eight I'm years fully old. 14 years old. Oh, how, 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 boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. What were you like when you, you were 14? Secret? I was so loud. I was going to say, <laughs> looking when you sent these photos, I was like, you were a psycho. Psycho, but very funny. Okay. Oh, God. Was I, I get funny. that sense. I used to be way funnier than I am now, and I'm wearing an Iron Man shirt. Hell yeah! Is this when you played Brass Monkey in the back of the bus? Uh, no, this is a couple. Of, this is like four, three years after. <laughs> now he was playing. You look very funny. Are you I was in being, I was being funny. This photo. I'm oh yeah, funny. all these photos. You're being funny. Are you in theater? Like, is this person? With uh, the so arm we're doing you? the haunted a, hayride. I was bitch. gonna say. I was like, this feels like a. You're sitting down on the ground yeah. waiting for the show to start. Vibe. Yeah, I'm being very funny. We were the. Uh, so we did clowns most years, and then the last year, me and my friend Chris Deaton, who play, he's a drummer. He, we did raptors. We were just raptors, and we just ran around. That's why you're so good at doing a raptor. <laughs> or a vulture. You're right. A vulture. It just occurred to me I that people right. listening to this are like, "What the hell are they looking at?" They don't, don't. They don't get to see it. Well, if they're watching it on YouTube, but if they're just listening to it on Spotify, they're like, "What is going on?" Oh, we'll go to our YouTube and watch it. Oh my God, this photo we died at. I'm being funny here too. It's I, to describe this. Uh, it's a photo of Chance looking down at the camera, making the Very strangest face. I've butthole ever mouth. Seen. It's yes, butthole, butthole, butthole mouth. mouth. I love. And I mouth. we call this. We call him Fat Boy. P H A T. Fat boy and i have a fro don't forget the fro yeah, you yeah. Fro. i think your hair is what also surprised and you're going me like this. It's just yeah that's but see your hair like this is so and the fun. chin that that fold is incredible the yeah chin. it's like, it's, and that it's, little a, dimple. it's an impeccable impeccable and it's chin. also impeccable. very foggy and bizarre like it's a yeah. very foggy dark photo right this me. is the type of photo, photo you can only get when you're 14 yeah you yeah. cannot you take photos like no. that ever again no you no. can't not even if you try that is so good. Wow. Butthole mouth. Uh, that's crazy. And this is Chance leaning on a pole. Sexy uh, time. Yeah. Yeah, this wearing a polo a shirt. Older. 16? 14. 
It's the same. Wow. Here's the other one. Oh my God. Crazy. I'm you just making a different face. Goof. <gasps> and then this is, dude, talk about okay. high school musical. That is, I'm 16 here. You look, you know who you look like? Corbin. The winner of American Era uh, oh, Idol. Oh, shit. The Kelly Clarkson American yes, Idol. The first, oh, what's his name? Justin Guarini. Justin or something. Justin, what was his name? Just, Guarini. Justin Guarini, you nailed it. Wow. Yeah, I got yeah. told that all the time. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, nailed it? Uh, yeah, I literally so got told people, that all the time. So for people just listening, uh, imagine a photo of Justin Guarini. Yeah, look it up. No, <laughs> I, would, I prefer Corbin Blue. I could prefer Corbin I Blue. I do actually think That's I... That's actually not my sister. That's my friend's sister. I was going to say... And we took a picture together. because like you. I, I no. think you look... You do look more like Corbin Blue. But the reason this picture was taken, American Eagle, the reason this picture was taken because everybody, all the white people at the party were like, you guys look just alike. Oh. You guys look just alike. Take a picture with Ileana. You look uh, nothing alike. Like, I was like, no, we don't. You have like, like, no such lighter hair, such lighter eyes. You look nothing alike. Yeah, no. It was just because everyone else looked. Well, everyone wow. else looked like the, um, the necklace. Now we have Amanda. Oh, Amanda, God. these photos blew my mind mine were from all different okay <gasps> dude what what year is this okay this is when i was working at channel seven 2009 so this is before i moved to la this is when i was 23 oh my god you look i thought you were 16 i thought you were 16 too no this is like 23 this is when i was in boston that's this insane. is around it's giving it's giving leah michelle glee Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's very that era. It's also like first f- photo album of Christina Aguilera, like that. Yeah. You know? um, yep. Yeah. There's a few of these. Um, <gasps> yeah. There. I'm 23. This is. It's the most Disney oh Channel God. era. <laughs> yeah. Like pop star at that time. Yeah. The boobs, the cleavage, though. Yeah. She said, hey. Exactly. And this was my hair. <laughs> this was my hair forever. It was st- like straight with a little angle. So I can't on. imagine you without bangs. Oh, I know. Did you so have funny. bangs? I had you... bangs for, I, d- I had no bangs for a while. Yeah. I'm trying to remember it. It's weird, huh? Yeah. It's weird. Uh, this photo is no! insane. Okay, so there's a What's photo. Happening? There's a photo. It's. Amanda, you are against a like door, but the, only your hand is in focus. And Why I, is and the, I don't know and not what, even, what it's is the, the purpose wedge. of this? I don't this. know what I'm doing. It's not a ring finger. It's not a like ring. No. It's not like, were you trying to be a hand model? I don't know. My first finger and my thumb is touching. She told me to do this. I don't know why I needed a close up of my hands. This is the most insane photo I've ever seen in my life. It's yeah. insane. And why are my hands doing this? And why is it the wedge that we're <laughs> focused on? Like, uh, this is the center point. Is it like you lost the game kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't know. Like, I look back at these, and by the way, these photos are printed. I still have them. No. Yes, I do. Uh, Here's another one. Another super. I can't believe you're like 23, 24. Also, you look yeah, like you a teenager. Look, yeah. I know. In my 20s, I looked like a teenager forever. Mm. And now I look like a 60 year old woman, don't I? No, you no. don't. 50. So, hey. Hi. So, this one, I remember my sister lived in Africa. My little sister lived in Kenya okay. for like a year, and I never took this bracelet off. Oh. Ne- and it was like, it was like tied by a thing. And I look at these headshots, and I'm like, why? What is going on? It's you like falling with apart. It. I showered with it. You had course. sex with it. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. So this picture. <laughs> Stop what, it. Yes. What is great with this picture is my hand isn't holding up my head. It's, it's just, just resting there. It's just in there. The you're kind of you're kind of saluting. I'm like, I like it. Phew. Yeah, this is Channel Seven time. This is was I will say Channel Seven was probably my worst job ever. Okay. Because I was so stressed. So the news, Google, and PSAs. So this was my stressful time. Okay. And then oh! modeling. So wait, you went. <laughs> you have a modeling, like card. When I have did a, you When did you it's model? It's called a Z card. So. When I was working Your at Mohawk Bend. Your waist was 27? Yeah, I was really tiny. Oh, my God. I was like 120 when I moved here. Oh. Yeah, I this was, was here? Then. I was too. This thin. was here? This is L.A. This is yeah, Santa Monica. Look, this is definitely L.A. Look at that. So, uh, Dude, uh, in this photo, Amanda <laughs> looks. Amanda has a facial expression that I, I don't think I've ever seen from Amanda. You, A Brazilian look, vampire. You look like someone who I, I would immediately be like, oh, she hates me. Yeah. yeah. I haven't even talked to people her. People thought, really, truly, people forever when I worked at Mohawk Ben thought that I hated them. That's so that funny. That was my look. So, like, I worked at Mohawk Ben and I got scouted there. Like, oh. my first year working there, 
for Blaze Models. Blaze. And it was, I should have never did done Blaze look at these model, look Did Blaze Models, did Blaze Models put you, Blaze Media, whatever, put you in that outfit? Um, Yes. They that, put me in this she's outfit, wearing which is horrific. High waisted, like shorts. Horrific. With a salmon, salmon button down and a black <laughs> blazer. She's got tan wedges. A, and, no, they're camel colored. Camel. They're awful. It's an outfit you'd never see anyone wear on a normal. And day. where? And you know where I am? I'm outside of their offices, obviously. Oh my god. Taking these photos, and I remember this picture. This picture, where? Why is my part starting back here? You know, w- weirdly, I like the hair. Okay, well, that's good. And I was on the side of the road in Santa Monica, and people were walking by, and they were like, you have a bruise on your leg. I'm like, okay, thank you. What? It's kind of giving Kristen Stewart with the shaved, if like it was like shaved right there. Yeah. No, I was. I modeled for a while. But mainly my modeling career was, I, I did ads for Uber. Okay. I did, I did like photo ads for Uber. That's not on here. And then I went and did, tried on, I basically went to places and tried on jeans. And people were like, mm, yeah, you, you need to be a little bit thinner. And I was at my thinnest. I was Holy actually at a place shit. where I was like too thin. Right. Oh, dude, it's so tough. And they're like, you need to be thinner. And That's I was like, okay. So insane. And then now we have more modern day headshots. Yeah, model talent agency. Uh, we have Dr. Amanda. <laughs> that is Dr. Amanda. <laughs> this is your like, Grey's Anatomy Why headshot. was I put in a doctor outfit? I have no idea. Is that idea. literally a doctor's outfit? It's or like, is it... no, it's a pink blazer, but in the picture. This is looks- recent. This no, this is like oh. five years ago. Oh, okay. This I just recent. saw that hair. Oh, so my hair grew all the way down to here, and then I cut it again. Mm. This is not my hair. This is when I cut wow. it really short the last oh. time. Yeah, I really cut my hair off. Um, and then we have Sarah Motorcycle. Christ. Motorcycle. Oh my God, that is Sarah Christ. It literally is a photo of Sarah Christ. I, I don't. It's you in a leather jacket. This is what you would probably send for like CSI. Sure, yeah, I would. Except I definitely sent this. My manager sent this for Smosh. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Literally, this I'm is the headshot sure. that was sent for I'm, Smosh. I'm pretty positive. That is so funny. I think Ian was like, "Yeah, your headshot was really intense." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it got you in the door. It got me in the door. And, and now you're playing. And now you're playing Sarah started. Christ. And now I'm playing Sarah Christ. And the red background. The really red works well really the makes it intense. Wow, we all have good headshots. We all have good headshots, and we've all been through different phases of our life. So I think the ultimate lesson we learned today is: don't work at NBC News, okay. don't work at Google, <laughs> mm-hmm. and don't do a very specific type of PSA that I did. That's good. Over ten years ago. But remember that all of those led us to a place where now we work at Smosh, and I feel like I'm working in heaven. The tools in our tool belt. Are... The tools in our tool belt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our tooling. Our tooling. My tools. Nickelodeon. Disney. <laughs> yes. PSA. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. My tools. The news. And Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts. Donuts. Uh, my tools. Honey Chipotle chicken crispers. <laughs> and uh, co- Sweet Life of Zack and Coding. And, yeah, coding. coding. I more now think of steak. Oh, yeah. Steak. Let's go microwave some steak. Let's do it. Well, Chance. that was our, that, that was fucking great. That was awesome. That was fun. I was sick as hell. Guys, we did it. I, I'm a model and a doctor. <laughs> uh, Chance, thanks for being here, man. Thanks for being of here course. Uh, we need to make a charcuterie board sometime. <gasps> yeah. So that you can really like do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right. Can we? Yeah. Okay, great. All right, let's do it. Done and done. All, All right. right. All right. Bye. Smosh Mouth, thanks for coming. Bye. Bye.